So welcome to our episode on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yay. And what's so funny is that thumbnail is not a clickbait thing <laughs> because we downloaded the game on Friday. Yeah. Kim starts playing it and I'm walking by her. She's on the couch and her arm comes up to me. And so I, you know, I walk by and I touch it, and she's like, she's like, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this and is I'm, my new life now. <laughs> I know this happened as well. This happened many times. The last time I remember was Dragon Quest Builders Two. Yeah. Two hundred hours. Poof. You know, I, I don't <laughs> see Kim again. It's quite literally over at that point. But Kim's going to talk all about her experiences playing the game. Yes. And that's the one thing is this is a very hard game to review because. It's such a long game. There's a lot to it. It's a life simulation game. You can't just say, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a 10 out of 10 game. It's like, there's a lot to it. It's ongoing. It's ongoing, it's ongoing. And, and always kind of evolving. Yes. And the experience is always evolving. So you don't know what's going to be happening in 20 days from now. No. Right? Yeah. So that's why we just wanted to do a first thoughts on it. And I just want to say, um, we have a very interesting history with Animal Crossing here. Is that 19 years ago, can you believe it? 19? I picked up this game right here, Animal Crossing, on the GameCube, day one. And what was fascinating about the game at the time, we didn't really know what to expect from it. This was a brand new IP at the time. So I was like, okay, little animals and, and you know, in a little forest. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. And it changes every day. And, yeah. you, know, you know, it has a day and night system. I'm like, okay, I like that. I, I'm going to go play it. And all of a sudden I start playing and I start getting addicted. And I'm like, okay, I, this, is, this is weird because... It was so simple, but so relaxing. I think that's the best thing to describe yeah. Animal Crossing, is just the relaxation that you get from it. Yeah, for sure. For, for sure. And then, so I like this game, and then it was like five years ago, yes. and I picked this up used. I thought, oh, you know, I want to get Kim like another sto uh, you know, stalking stuffer yes. uh, to try out. So I picked her up this, uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. How was this? Yeah. This wonderful. Is, this is when it, <laughs> this is when it began. But the thing is, you buy me the addicting games. I can't help. Well, I don't, I don't know that you're going to get that far into it. I don't know yeah. how long it's going to be. But Animal Crossing, you played the heck out of that. I did. Yeah, no, I definitely love the cuteness of it all. Yes. Definitely. I think a lot of people do. And then that kind of, and then also. You got addicted to the mobile game, which was ridiculous. Which was funny because you didn't tell me about the mobile game purpose. for the longest time. And then we were yeah. hanging out with some friends and they're like, oh, haven't you been playing Pocket Camp? And I'm like, what? <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm like, shut shot up. going, no! I'm like, shut, shut the heck up. I said, don't yeah. mention that game. Yeah, and then all of a sudden she's on the phone and all the trading time. with her friends. Killing my battery. <laughs> it, it, Every three hours it restarted things. So yeah, that was my thing. That was a, that was a crazy time. Yeah. A crazy long time. And then that brings us to the new game. Game. And we gotta say, yes. this new game couldn't come at a better time. Definitely. You know, with the you know the world and, and the way it is. Yes. We want to thank Nintendo. Definitely. Uh, for <laughs> sure, and all the other video game companies out there for creating entertainment for us like yes. this, because we're all kind of grounded at home. Yep. Uh, for a long period of time, we don't know how long it's gonna be, and so we're happy to have something like Animal Crossing and to kind of bring a smile to our faces, and it it really it is. It does. It gives you that that heart. <sighs> Yeah, all. I know. It's, it's, it's kind of a return to home. Yes. And all of that. And then this one, though, takes you to an island. Yeah. So talk to me about this game. What is this game all about? So it starts off you meeting classic characters such as Timmy and Tommy. Right. They introduce you saying how you're going to go to an island. Yeah, so it's kind of like a getaway island thing. The getaway island, which right. is something that I, I really need right now. We all need so, that right now, for sure. I was really up for it, to be honest, because yeah. it kind of reminded me of, oh, I'm going to a getaway island. Kind yeah. of like Hawaii. This yes. is good. We, <laughs> we're kind of getting away, but we're still here type of thing, yeah. Yeah, so the first things that you do is that you create a character. So yeah. you get to choose hair color. It, actually, there's there isn't like much that you can do at the beginning for styles, but I, later on in game, you can buy stuff and all that. You can buy stuff, right? So right. So that's pretty cool how that works out. Yeah. So it starts out simple. You're like, oh, okay, because we were picking it, and you're like, I can't really make it look like yeah, me. Yeah. This doesn't look like me at all, but like it's the basics. The basics are the basics at first. Yeah. Just to get going. Exactly. And then what they ask you is to pick what type of island you want. Right. So we we were just kind of deciding, do we really want to jump? 
jump over a lot of rivers or anything. That's what we were keeping Yeah, in mind. Some, some of my friends are saying, yeah. don't get ones with a lot of rivers you have to pass. So try to pick the middle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to just, jump over rivers. Sure, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we chose one, and then it also asked you to name your island. Yes, and Kim's like, what am I going to name what? the island? Yeah. And then I'm like, we're going to call it what I called in the original Animal Crossing 1, and that is Japan. And that is from Far East of Eden. It's an RPG series in Japan uh, that came out in the 90s that I really love. And it's, it's on the fictional island of Japan. I thought it's so awesome. So, so I didn't cool. have a choice. There was no choice. That's <laughs> what no it's choice. gonna be. Like, yeah, this yeah. is gonna be your island and we're gonna stick to that name. Like, Absolutely, all right, yeah, yeah. So we jump in the airplane and we arrive at our island and we meet the rest of some characters. Yeah. And it starts off where you get to pick an area where you get to place your tent. Right. And which is great about this, you kind of have like a preview Right. Option to see where you want to place it so nothing's really like, hey, it has to stay right there and that's it. You can kind of just choose. Move it to wherever well, you want. You get to first view what it would look like. Right. So that I thought was pretty cool. And then you get to help out the other characters to pick their spots and things like that. And once you do that, the game starts to progress. And uh, yeah, it's just, yes. it's just to be, and then it starts to get crazy. Yes. And the one thing I got to say about this game, and especially about all the, you know, the original game and all games, you just gotta love how the characters talk. I this is a great way out of having to do voice acting. Oh god, yeah. It's a brilliant thing. Very I remember when I first was playing it in the GameCube and the characters are talking, I'm like, oh, this is so weird. I'm like, oh, it's so charming. I'm like, oh, I like this. And then you just love it. It's so easy. At first you would think, oh, this is gonna be super annoying, yeah. but it kind of brings you back to that. Oh, I yeah. love that. Like, yeah, that comfort bubble. zone thing yeah. to hear those voices again. So it's nice to hear those voices. So you get on the island, you pick a tent, yes. and then what can you do from there? From there, they give you something called a Nook phone. Right. So once you have the Nook phone, it's just like an iPhone, and you have all your apps on it. Right, so right. things like you can take photos, right. you can keep track of your do-it-yourself recipes, which we'll get into, and you can get a Critopedia, so that keeps track of all the insects, the fish, and the fossils, <laughs> just like all the other Animal Crossings, and you know, the obsession of collecting all that. Yeah, well, that's that, and that's what it is. It's like a life-stimulating game yes. where you're collecting so many things, you know, tapping on trees, getting mm -hmm. apples, selling the apples, yeah. and then upgrading your house. There's a lot of things to do in this game. I, I, I was trying to, like, I remember in the original, I was like, what is the core uh, principles of this game? Um, I, like, and then I'm like, John, is to collect, is to yes. forge things, is to make things. Foraging, yes. I and, remember you told me that when I was first playing Animal Crossing yeah. about foraging. Yeah, and then, and then creating uh, better houses and yes. getting cooler stuff yes. for your houses, and then making your character look even cooler. Yep. And I remember even in the original one, I made, uh, I put the Sega logo on my oh. character I, and I put it on, on the character because Sega was starting to do, uh, you know, games on the uh, GameCube, which was so wild and oh, different because they were competing at the time. So I was like, this is neat that I could do that. Um, and so, yeah, what else can you do in the game? But just one more thing to oh, yeah. add for the Nook phone, it keeps tracks of goals. Oh. So I think this is where the real addiction is. Yeah. It's like, you get as many butterflies, you get a little stamp, you get air miles to buy things. And that there, when there's nothing else to do, you can just keep on collecting fish and you'll keep getting goals. Yeah. So, and so, so yeah, it's got that kind of like the, the, the trees yeah, of things that you want to fill in. Definitely. Type of thing and all that. So yeah. I saw that I'm like, oh my god. And I like, I'm like, look how many things I can do. And John's like, oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> the great thing about the Switch though, is that if I want to play a different style of game, you can just pull it off and play it on the couch with me. That's so cool. And that's what's really great about this Animal Crossing because we had console versions yes. and then we had handheld, handheld versions. And now- And then we had phone versions. We had phone versions and now we combined them all into one game yes. on uh, the Nintendo Switch, which is wonderful. That yep. handheld and uh, console play is so cool. So cool. And then we get into things called DIYs, which is do-it-yourself recipes. So you can oh. start to build your items. So you got your shovels, right. your axes, your nets, fishing rods and now you actually have like a long rod that you can use to jump over little rivers and oh things yeah like that. I saw that but that was pretty fun it looks like some other things are gonna start opening up but so far right now those are my kind of main items oh and also like a watering can yeah 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 and I think everybody who's playing this game is at such different places yes you know type of thing and there's so many other neat things that can happen is that you can invite your friends over yeah so so funny your friend showed up Thank you to my beautiful friend, Nicole, who actually, you know, we we finally got it to work. We went and met at the, well, I started off at the Dodo Airport, which yes. I find so funny because Dodos don't fly. fly. Right. But 
But so we met up at her place and oh my gosh, I'm like, you have apples. And I started collecting apples and realized, oh, can I even bring this back with me? Yeah. Sure enough, I was able to bring back the apples with me back to my Yeah, camp. yeah. But the fact that I was able to go to hers and interact, you can chat. Yeah, and because I mean, you only have peaches in your world, I, I right? have peaches in my world. Yeah. My mommy actually gave me oranges. So oh. I did some oranges. <laughs> That's thanks, funny. Thanks, virtual mother. You're right, 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 right. <laughs> And so, like, just running around her world, seeing, yes. you, I remember you ran in her house, you're like, oh my god, you got all this stuff. Oh, yeah, What's it was happening? so much fun. That's crazy. Yeah. And then I think you can even have up to eight pe uh, people oh, visit wow. your world at one time running around. I can't wait for the world to open up that way for us. Yes. To really experience that. But it was just great to just jump in into her game and see her place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, it's so, it's such a charming game. It is. The music is so kind of relaxing mm -hmm. and chill that we really needed this Definitely. and it's been a really good yeah. weekend and we're only at the beginning of this game but we want to come in and have a fun chat and i had to say goodbye kim because yeah, i knew okay that. that's that's what was going to happen and all of that what do you take away from this game like what is this game doing that's kind of different maybe than any other animal crossing or it's pretty much the same isn't it it's pretty much the same yeah. i mean there's some ideas where things open up where i think the building to get to like other um, upper areas yeah. that i've seen in in what nintendo was showing yeah. with their preview options and things yeah but other than that it just the charm of it it's yeah. always been the charm of animal crossing like yeah. just listening to the music standing there on the beach is oh, wonderful it's beautiful, yeah i mean and also it keeps to the time right so that's always still been a thing but it can get frustrating because sometimes when you've done the main things like build your home or the museum you're forced then to wait a day but then it's like you can't really do any more for that particular day. For that day. particular day. That's so, what I, I was always trying to wrap my head yeah, around so, back in the day, and yeah. I remember trying to speed up the time. Yeah, right getting... now I'm waiting for my house to get built. Right, right, right. And I just want to keep going. Yeah, <laughs> I remember back in the day trying to speed up the time. I'm getting in trouble for Eddie. We've all done that, right? Well, not just that. I remember when you told me, you know, just be careful when you do that. And I made a mistake, well, a mistake in the game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just shut it down. And then when I opened it back up, I got a big like, don't ever do that again. Yeah, right. And I'm like, what? The game is telling me don't? I know, I know. You feel <laughs> reprimanded. Yes. doing it it's like oh no uh, you know type of thing but uh, you know the really interesting thing is i think for a lot of people who haven't played animal crossing oh, they're, yeah. they're gonna be like like should What's i get the into the big deal of animal crossing it's them? it's very zen it's yes. about collecting yeah. it's about upgrading mm -hmm. it's about self-fulfillment self-fulfillment yeah. and, and finishing goals finishing goals and yeah. just and i can't say it enough that zen, zen. Th that zenness of just kind of getting into it Having fun, relaxing. Yeah. It's, this is not an action game. No. This is not an R. <laughs> this is not even an RPG for say. Yeah. It has RPG elements yeah. for sure, but it's like an, a life simulator yeah. where you play in these little animal forests. Quite honestly, and with all these little creatures, and communicate with them. You can send mail to. You people. can send mail to them, and I find the design of the creatures like it looks like they almost have like a felt. Yes. Look to them. Yeah. Uh, I like the detail that yeah. they've done for it for sure. Yeah. It just like you said, it feels like you're coming home. Yeah. To these characters, we've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah. And we, it was worth the wait. And and, and you know what? It, it has been a while, yes. and all of a sudden it's here, and we're like, oh my god, it's already it's here. It's already here. Because I remember like all those E3s and uh, yes. uh, well, you know the the Nintendo Directs when yeah. they would show it, and we're like, oh my god, when's this yes. coming out? When's this coming out? And yeah. you were bugging me. When's that Animal Crossing coming when out? Is it <laughs> and on, on, on March uh, 2020 seems so far away it did. at the time, and then it's it's finally here. And I must admit, uh, Nintendo's having a bit of a, a slow start to the year. They're not like coming out with a lot of huge games. This is one yeah. huge game that will take a long time until uh, there's another Direct talking about some more games that they're going right. to be doing this year. But everything's being slowed down in the industry right now. Yeah, which makes sense. Which makes sense. And so it gives, it gives us a chance to, to play this game. And really enjoy it. And really enjoy yeah. it. And to catch up on our backlogs of games. There's a lot of games yes. out there, folks. We don't always need the newest, newest game. No. Because there's been so many games that we haven't played. And I know you haven't played. I haven't played. <laughs> that we can go and play. For sure. So we just wanted to come in and say, uh, for anybody who's like interested about trying Animal Crossing out. Oh, please do. Give it a shot. But know it's a very slower game. Uh, you know, as we said, it's just you know collecting things, upgrading your house. Yeah. Know what you're getting into. Yep. But for everybody else who's played it, who's played any of the originals, they know what they're getting. Yes. We're not trying to tell you guys because you already know. Yeah. You're already playing it. You're not even watching this video. You're playing it. <laughs> type of thing right now. So <laughs> we just want to come in and give some first thoughts on Animal Crossing: uh, New Horizons. So, anyways, guys. Until next time.